when you turn into another Craft Beer Friday. The Craft Beer Friday supports local breweries in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And the one we're talking about today is Dangerous Man Brewing from Northeast Minneapolis. Now the history of Dangerous Man Brewing was started by a man called Rob Miller. He started home brewing in 2004 to 2012. He came up with 200 of his own recipes. He was beer to friends and family as gifts. And he decided he wanted a bit more out of the home brewing system. Found out that the Shirley Bill got passed where the Shirley Bill in Minnesota the breweries sell their brew beer at their own breweries. He jumped on it, bought a building, and it used to be the old bank building in Northeast Minneapolis, turned it into his tap room, and the rest is history. So I am doing my own little home brewing. I'm making my own IPA, which I have shown in the past on other videos. I have just added my last bag of hops to it. As we all know, IPAs are very fruity and citrus type beers. And I bought some IPAs from Dangerous Man. The first one is the House IPA with alcohol level of 7.0. And the bitterness usually is about 70, 60 percent, I'd say, about four IPAs. I could be totally wrong. So obviously, we have noticed I've been talking about a lot of IPAs in my videos. That's because I am a big IPA hop head. And as you also notice, IPAs are usually light in color. Let me see this one. Nice form, and it's color to it. And yeah, nice little three ounce sample. And I really do like the design and the logo of the Dangerous Man. Most definitely, if you go online, the Dangerous Man website, that actually looks like Rob Miller, the owner of Dangerous Man Brewery. And the other IPA we got from Dangerous Man Brewery. It is the old school IPA for the 5.6 alcohol level. And we will see. A three ounce glass. And you can see IPAs are usually your base. This one seems a little bit lighter than the house IPA. And uh, Definitely a lighter taste. If you like your uh, maybe your Miller Lights, of course. This one is more like a maybe a hazy IPA type beer to me. I could be wrong, because it's my whole opinion. Please go and support your local breweries. Check out my show, this video, check out my other videos as I talk about craft beers in Minnesota supporting local breweries. Next time, we saw it and always drink responsibly. Later.